What's up, YouTube? What's up, gang gang? It's your girl back with another video. I burnt myself out. So I'm about to make a candle. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get my candle together. Well, the jar, my wick. And I need my wick sticker. So what we are going to do is the wax is good and hot and melted. And I'm going to get my wick sticker. Place it on the wick sticker. Well, place the wick on the wick sticker. And then I'm going to put it in here, which is my candle relative, and I'm going to stick that on, stick that on in there. Now I'm going to get the little thingy magic to hold the wick. today because I need to start making stuff for my website. I'll link that down below in the description box a little later. So yeah, y'all. I'm going to have my candles listed in the website as well. Um, also, uh, my soaps that I've uh, been getting into making. And today we're going to be making um, mango gardenia uh, candle. And this should smell very good. Very, very good. So let's get our container. I had a container somewhere in here. And y'all, I'm just killing time until it's time for Bae to get off work. And let me get a mitten because this can get mucho caliente. And no, I do not speak Spanish. I'm still learning, so don't judge. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, uh, let me get my spoon first. Um, I thought I had everything together, but I guess I didn't. And, yeah. So, I don't actually need a spoon. I'm going to use my, um, spatula for stirring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the wax into here. And I'm going to tip it because it's not that much. And it is very hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a second a second one of these containers. Oh that one is already cracked I think. I'm going to take a second container and I'm just going to put that in there like so. Now remind you, I got these containers from um, Dollar Tree, so of course they're not going to last long. And um, yeah, so we're just going to pull that in the container like that. And we're going to turn it off and we're going to turn the pot off. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to move that to the back. We're going to let this cool all the way down to about 156 or 150. 
Um, I'm going to stir, stir it until it cools um, to to help it cool. And we're just going to stir this. It looks a little weird, but I'm going to be adding um, Oh, Lord. I think this thing done melted through. Yep. It melted through, guys. The life of a candle. The life of a candle maker is reckless. Very much so. I was wondering what it was doing because I kept seeing, like, I thought that, uh, I thought that the, um, I thought that it was melting the the remainder of the uh uh I really hope that it did not let me just let me just pull this in here because this is no good either okay so yeah uh. Yeah, that should be exciting, very exciting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, my temperature gun, and we're going to see what temperature we're at. Okay, so this is the temperature gun, and so we're going to turn this on and. So, first we want Celsius. You need to be at Fahrenheit in order to take the temperature. So, we're at 178. So, we're going to let that cool down a little bit more to at least 150, 156 or something like that. Because if you, if you pull your fragrance, too, your fragrance too hot, your throw is not going to smell as much. So, I like to let it cool down, cool all the way down, that way when it cures, you can smell, um, smell what the actual scent smells like. Okay, so, what we're going to do is, we're going to pour our, we're going to pour our, um, Die. 
and we're going to do about six drops. That's six. Six drops. Hopefully it doesn't because hopefully it doesn't uh become pink when it uh cures. I want it complete red, a complete actual red, like the devil. I want a complete red, so maybe I should do another. But it looks like it's gonna be a orange the way the the way my uh, wax is. Let's see, let's see. So we're going to stir, stir, stir. And that should be an actual red. We're going to stir, stir, stir. Sugar. Hey, no, no. If you're wondering who I'm talking to, I'm talking to my dog. <laughs> and okay, so now we stir, stir, stir. Now it's time to check the temperature again. Check the temperature again. I can't talk today. Alright, you guys. So we're at 150 and we're ready to pour our fragrance. So... I usually do this on a scale, but right now I'm going to eyeball it because it's almost time for me to get off work and I got to get in the shower and get ready for our day. Don't judge. I did wake up, wash my face and everything, but, and yeah, do laundry and everything. So, yeah. So, I'm going to pour about... I'm just going to eyeball this right now. That smells really, really good. It's mango and gardenia. Here's my pot. I got to get some more, um, I have to make a list and get some, to get some more, uh, some more, um, wax. Don't mind my dog guy. She's barking to go outside when she's already been outside and she's barking to go back out. Not that she wants to go to the bathroom. She just wants to roam around in the yard. Alright, you guys. So, we're going to pull this at about a temperature of 145. And the only reason why I love, love, love soy wax is because it doesn't, um, it doesn't melt. I mean, it doesn't cure as, as fast as you're making the candle. Like when you're pouring your, um, your scents in, uh, it's curing. Like, um, I think it's paraffin wax. Paraffin wax. You, with paraffin wax, you have to hurry up and kind of like do what you're doing. Uh, kind of like do what you're doing when you're making uh, candles with paraffin wax because it it's not like soy wax where it stays melted for a long period of time. It's it's curing while you're pouring either the essential oils or scents or stuff like that. So I really don't mess with paraffin wax. I only like soy wax. On top of that, it's vegan free as well. So, guys, and we're going to get our temperature gun again. And we're going to. Okay, so that's about 130. So, it is time for us to pour. Okay, so we're going to get our candle. And we're going to pour our candle. And this is a pretty, pretty.
حالا And that is how you pour a candle. Okay. So we're going to put our thing in there. Alright guys, and we're going to let this cure um, for about a couple of hours. It's going to take a couple of hours and this will be posted on my website. I will link that down in the description below a little later once I upload the video. And um, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, comment. And yeah, as always, thank you for watching Rainbow Sense. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!